Good applications for synthetic biology would be producing biofuels, um, more cost-effective photosynthesis from sunlight to foods and, and chemicals, and replacements for agriculture so that you have uh, less impact on the environment, where you get a more direct coupling between the sunlight and really tasty food, and you don't necessarily have to go through all the wasteful steps of, of getting it to go through a, a cow, for example, which is about 20 times more wasteful than, than corn, and corn is about 10 times more wasteful than algae. So if you could go straight from sunlight to, to tasty food, you might be able to do that 100 times more cost effectively. There's no fundamental reason why uh, a, any biological system can't be engineered to look like, taste like, or be like uh, other systems. I mean, they're, they're all using DNA at the, at the core. And there's already many uh, vegan uh, restaurants and vegan foods in the freezer section of the grocery store that taste like meat. People, for some reason, other people don't explore those, but they're, they're, they're less expensive and they're um, greener in terms of their environmental impact. And they look, and they're prepared to look like your favorite meat-based dishes. So there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't do that in a, uh, on a on a globally large scale.